Today we are talking about the corner cabinet. We all have them and I know that most of us struggle with trying to get the best organization and utilization out of this space. So I want to show you what I did here. It seems like I'm doing quite well with my space in this corner. Now of course you know me I have all my products removed because I'm going to move things around. But look at the bottom shelf. It has a Lazy Susan here. Now that's great, but I am short and I could not reach the stuff on the second shelf. So see how I switched and moved the Lazy Susan to the second shelf. Now here I'm able to reach and spin this Lazy Susan and also reach some items on the bottom shelf. Top shelf, of course, I'm going to show you what I did there. Now I do want to point out that some of this Lazy Susan hangs over, but that's okay because the base is all on the shelf. And this is a large Lazy Susan, so the weight is going to be fairly balanced. Now after going through all my products, throwing out expired, I'm going to show you what I finished with here. Okay, so to finish up with my corner cabinet here, I feel like I'm 12 again, sitting on the counter. Because I've always been so short, it's always easier for me to hop up on the counter to get something. Let me show you how we finished. If you recall, we moved this shelf. It was up here a little bit, but due to the fact that I am short and I do have a step stool to get up here, I don't want to grab it all the time when I'm reaching something here. So instead of having it here on maximizing the space, I'm maximizing my functionality. So here, I'll have to get rid of these. That'll drive me crazy. I just haven't got there yet. I got the largest Lazy Susan that I think exists. Um, I'll have to look and see how many inches it is. But in measuring for diameter is how the numbers work. You want to get the largest one that you can for the corner space that you're working with. This does hang over just a little bit, but the bottom base is completely on the shelf. So it is sturdy and there's absolutely no problem with the door closing. And it rotates without bothering anything else. Now, what's on the other shelves? This is another cumbersome thing. And I did try, and I'm gonna post a picture in here, um, the three piece holder that you can screw into top of a bottom of a shelf and put these pieces in did not work for me and here's why it seemed to take more space up by doing that than what I could have utilized by just laying something here hence this basket of stuff and I wanted it close to my baking area and easily accessible, so I did stick it right here. I also have a little honey gift somebody gave me. I have my protein over here. I have like three bottles in this corner, on this left corner. Over here I have a Nutribullet. I'm going to mix some small stuff when I don't want to use my full blender. So those are kind of sitting here. The protein's here. Stick that there. Up here, seeds, nuts, nutritional yeast, some more protein boost, um, cinnamon, cinnamon sugar nuts, so I made. Um, some also other extracts, cinnamon, honey, dates, cashews, which are great to put in smoothies. They will make smoothies thicker, gives it a nice creamy texture. Um, some other pecans, sunflower seeds, almonds, and off to the side, I put a couple awkward things that I don't want broken. Let's see if I can do this this way. Or disturbed. Apple peeler and core, which is great in the fall for apple season. But it's one of those awkward things I don't use that often, so I just stick it back in this corner. Fits back there really nice, and I'm still able to move this. Over on this corner, we have my pitcher. 
for water in my glass pitcher, which is great. But again, it's not in a spot where it's going to obstruct um, anything else and yet get moved around to possibly get broken. Now, top shelf. Let me take you up there. Uh, ice cube trays for meal prep. I don't use them all the time. I just grab them, bring them down when I'm ready to meal prep. Carafe, see if you can see this here. Carafe and lid. I just leave it up there so it's not broken. Handheld Parmesan cutter, which I really don't use. Things I don't really grab that often. I'm gonna get back in there. So that's probably the best way to utilize your corner cabinet space if you are don't already have something set that rolls out. There are cabinets that will roll out that are made specifically to do that. If you do not have that, this is the best way to go. Lazy Susans are great for any kind of corners, pantries, even some deep under cabinets. Under the kitchen sink, under the bathroom sink, it's always a great place to put them as well. But again, the corners, they're worth the money. The Lazy Susans are really worth the money. And there you have it. Hope this helps you and that you can get some better storage utilization out of your corner cabinets. Don't waste the space in there. It's precious space. And so I had to drop this in here. Isn't this great? I want to do a little more research and see if these drawers still exist today. I think this is an older picture. Let me know if you have any info below. Have a great day and see you again.